Hi everyone and welcome back. There are so many Christians today that are dependent on the internet. They don't have a personal relationship with the Lord. They're not in a place where their heart is open to the Word of God. They're more interested in the voice of man. They're more interested in the latest idea or the latest revelation instead of having a personal, growing relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there's a story where the, in John chapter 21 where the disciples were fishing from their boats and they were casting their nets out. And the Bible says Jesus came to them and he said, look, you're not getting anywhere there. Cast your net out on the other side of the boat. So they did that and they had a multitude of fish. And as I read that, I just feel that there are many Christians who are dependent on that wrong net, if I can say, the wrong direction. They need to turn around and they need to start to trust the Lord and hear what God is saying to them. Now, I know that God can speak through different people and through different things we see, but it's not the object. My object is not to listen to that person and that person and hear what he is saying or what she is doing, what's happening in the world. My object and my desire, and I think for all of us, is to be drawn closer and closer to the Lord. You know, there are many good teachings on the end times and what's going to be happening in the last days of this world and for the church. People become more hooked on the teaching than on, on what the teaching means. And in these times of adversity, in these times of difficulty, uh, we can't look for solutions. We need to look to the Lord. We can't look for ideas so that we can understand things better. We need to draw close to Him. You know, the Bible tells me in Romans chapter 1 that the gospel is the power of God for salvation and the righteousness of the law is revealed in it. The gospel is really, really what you and I need. It needs to be the hub, the focus of our life. I'm not talking about just the gospel of salvation, but I'm referring to the gospel of salvation and the gospel of the work of the cross and the good news that God has for you and I. To draw close to Him, to have this wonderful, precious relationship. You know, in Matthew 16, Jesus said to the disciples, Who do people say that I am? And some say this and some say that. And Jesus said to Peter, But who do you say? Who do you say? And Peter answered him and said, You are the Christ. That was something real and personal to him. That's what we need. And my encouragement to you this morning, today, and all the stuff that you're hearing, and all the access that we have, let's draw close to the Lord, deeper and deeper with Him. God bless.